Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video, I will show you a game between Maria Muzichuk and Tatiana Donbus. This is a game from Chess Olympiad, women's section, played in Batumi, Georgia in 2018. Maria Muzichuk had white pieces as she started with e4. Tatiana Donbus played e5. Knight to f3, knight to c6, d4, the scotch game. e takes on d4, knight takes on d4. Bishop to c5, attacking the knight, bishop to e3, queen to f6, more pressure on the knight, c3, f and g to e7, bishop to c4, queen to g6, attacking the pawn on g2. Maria Muzichuk castled kingside and so did Tatiana Donbush. Let's take it back. What if instead queen takes on e4? Is this a good move? Then White may continue with knight to d2 or with a fancy move. Bishop takes on f7 check and after king takes on f7 then the queen to h5 check attacking the bishop on c5. Back to our game. The game continued. Knight to d2 black to move. Knight to e5, attacking the bishop. A simple move, d6, would accelerate the development. Back to our game. Knight to e5, aggressive move, attacking the bishop on c4. White to move. Knight to f5. Bishop to e2 was expected, and then black usually plays d6, or even d5. Back to our game. Knight to e5, but now knight to f5, and this makes opponent think. Knight takes on f5 was played. e takes on f5, attacking the queen, black to move. Queen to c6. If queen takes on f5, then bishop takes on c5, and after knight takes on c4, bishop takes on f8, and white is better. Back to our game. Queen to c6. Bishop takes on c5, queen takes on c5, bishop to b3, d5, attacking the pawn on f5, white to move. How to defend the pawn? What would you do? Maria Muzichuk played knight to f3, defending the pawn that way. Knight takes on f3, if bishop takes on f5, Knight takes on e5 and white is winning. Knight takes on f3, check. Queen takes knight defending the pawn. And attacking the pawn on d5. Black to move. d4 was played. If bishop to d7, then white can take the pawn on d5. If c6, the pawn would be defended. But this would not help the bishop on c8 to get in the game. Back to our game. So, Tatiana Donbush played d4, intending queen takes pawn on f5. How will you continue now? Please pause and find the best move for white. Oh, perhaps the move is obvious. Maria Muzichuk played f6, the best move. If c takes on d4, queen takes on f5, and if queens are exchanged, black is happy. Back to our game. f6. Black to move. g takes on f6. What else? If g6 is played, then white pawn on f6 looks too dangerous. One simple line goes like this. c takes on d4, queen takes on d4. Rook from a to d1, queen to h4. Rook from f to e1, and white is better. Even bishop to g4 doesn't help, because of queen to e4. White is much better. Back to our game. So after f6, we have g takes on f6. Queen takes on f6, d takes on c3. White to move. What would you do? What is the best move for white in this position? Maria Muzichuk played rook from a to c1. P 
spinning the pawn. Queen to f5, hoping to exchange queens. How would you continue? Maria Muzicu played queen, takes pawn on c3. c6, saving the pawn. Rook from c to e1. It looks like that the rook lift is on the menu. Queen to f4. Rook to e3. Bishop to f5. So, if rook goes to g3 with check, bishop to g6. And play king is fine. Maybe. What do you think? What would you do in this position? If you had white pieces, please pause and find the best move for white. What did you find? White played a move and black resigned. Believe it or not. And the move is queen to f6. Pinning the bishop. Black resigned. Let's play a random move for black. Rook from a to d8. Then rook to g3 check. And how to defend the king. If bishop goes to g6, queen takes queen. That is why Tatiana Donbush resigned in this position. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.